So guys, uh, this is Mr. Stark again at Porter and & Chester and I wanted to show you a quick video on how an off-delay timer works. So what you're looking at here is a, uh, a homemade Nerf basketball hoop setup and we put conduit around to extend the width of the backboard but basically the sign for commercial wiring is the backboard and the pipe is there just to keep the ball out of the booths if we have a you know bad shot but it's fun here you know just making things out of electrical is great so your knowledge of motor controls kind of moves you to create and do different things with circuits so that's what i did here so what you see here is uh you know a control circuit i'm going to get a little closer view of this so you can really get an idea of what this does climb a ladder and right now we're looking at a control box and in that control box is nothing more than two off delay timers a control transformer terminal strip and fairly decent wiring i made this about probably six years ago in a different campus brought it here to this campus and rebuilt it so that we can utilize it and have fun in the lab uh, on the top there's a fire alarm horn there's a receptacle in the receptacle there's a rope light that's plugged into it tied into the off delay timer on the top and there's another uh, light that's up in the ceiling in the lab that's tied in I'll show you how that works in a second so how this works well off delay timers require a trigger so there's terminals on the base of the relay that are terminal numbers five and six now when you uh, use this off delay timer this one has to have the coil energized at all times and unlike other relays where we energize the coil the contacts change position immediately this particular relay does not the coil is energized all the time so that the uh, DC voltage that's created on the terminals five and six is available for a short circuit so what's that mean well a short circuit is a closure of two contacts on the base and how we're able to accomplish that in my little circuit is through this handy dandy device up here next to the basketball hoop that's actually called a limit switch you might remember this from a previous course and a limit switch is basically a device that something goes by it it'll go from normally open to normally closed and can be used for a variety of different uh, signaling sensing circuits what I did here is I know that the limit switch has a spring return back to the normal position so when in theory when the basketball goes through the net and hits that limit switch it closes just quickly because once the ball falls through after that it returns back to its normal position so how those off delay timers work is it's the removal of the short circuit that starts the off delay on the timer there's a pretty good chapter in your motor controls book that explains that function uh, pretty well you're going to need to know that in the coming days but in regards to this uh, what i like about this the most is the creativity of being able to build as an electrician we can kind of make anything out of anything in electrical so what i did was i took the limit switch i bought a piece of uh, angle iron aluminum stock i bent a 45 on it right here to give me the approximate angle where i thought the ball would be able to trigger it i wired a piece of fire alarm cable up and around and back into my controller down here so i can have that trigger switch activated and then of course you see the rest of the hoop is more creativity we used jack chain, which is kind of a typical thing we hang light fixtures with here and there, at least back in the day. And I somehow made a net out of the jack chain. I bent a piece of conduit in a perfect circle, as you can see. And we took a rope light and put it around the rim. So when we make a shot, that goes off, the horn goes off, and another light in the ceiling goes off. Now, just to give you an idea of what it looks like, uh, I'll try to make a shot from down below. It's actually pretty skilled to make a shot with Nerf ball, but when we close the switch and remove it, it goes back to its normal position, the rope light goes on, you heard the horn, and if we look up in the ceiling, there's a cool uh, disco type light, and I got that on a longer timer, and it just circles the light all the way around the campus, 
or the room rather, and shows you kind of cool, you made a shot. And I let that on for a little bit longer, just for fun. And the buzzer is obviously a short timer. We adjust these timers with these dials here. So you can see, you know, the horn is just, you know, a couple seconds long and the, uh, the lights, the rope light around the rim and the one in the ceiling are somewhere in the less than 20 second. So you can kind of get a feel for it. If we step down from the controller, you can get a perspective of how high it is off the floor. Uh, I made it high because nobody can dunk that high. I am likely not gonna make a shot for this video but I'll try and we'll go back, try it again. And well, once again, I'll, you'll have to take my word for it. We'll come back. This is pretty much why it's fun. And there it is. So you can see uh, pretty cool setup, rope lights on disco lights on, we walk around, and you really get a perspective of, you know, how hard it is to make that shot, even from underneath. The basic template design I took right from the Nerf uh, basketball that you'd buy at a store. So the rim is the same size, and it's a ball that's a Nerf ball. So hopefully you kind of think that's cool. We got another one in the residential lab that is the same setup. I'll walk over there really quick, give you an idea of what that looks like, because once again, we could have this operate on the PLC, but I chose to use the relays. So here's another one. I didn't bring the ball over here. This one's actually uh, quite different. I'll show you the setup. I'll just get up here with a ladder real quick. Give me a second here. Sorry about that. and turn this thing on this one's got a whole different feel to it same type of control panel same type of timers and this one comes through same setup this one's actually got a lot more lights got blue light up there it's got this rope light here and the same thing in the horn you get the general idea so when we're in here in this lab if you get your labs done and we get the nerf going we could shoot from pretty far and uh, have a cool time so hopefully you enjoy the circuitry and you can make something when you get in the lab see you in the next video